Hey guys, it's Jeff and today a very exciting day. I haven't done a video in quite a while, but I did want to update you on the beta 7 release of iOS 13. So iOS 13 developer beta 7 was released today and I am super excited to see this beta release simply because uh, we are starting to see uh, not so many of the new features, but the very small UI changes that do make a big difference uh, in the final version of iOS uh, kind of beta releases and official versions and of course the changes to speed and performance which are continuously getting better here within iOS 13. So uh, let's go ahead and get it loaded up onto our iPhone 10s Max here. The update size for this device was 321 megabytes so a fairly small update size but the update did take a little bit uh, longer than normal to install. So I am expecting to see uh, quite a few deep level changes here found within iOS 13 developer beta 7, likely fixing a lot of those bugs that we found in iOS 13 beta 6. So uh, let's go ahead, check it out and see what's new in iOS 13 beta 7. Guys, go check out Clean My Mac X. It's absolutely amazing. I use it every day and I cannot say this enough, every Mac user needs this program. So go check it out. There's a link down below with more info and you can also go download it to try it out for yourself. Okay guys, so we have iOS 13 developer beta seven loaded up on this device to the right. And on the left we have beta six, which is just used as a reference just to see what changes exactly have been made between these two beta and as you can see here, the update size for beta 7 came in at around 321 megabytes for the iPhone 10s Max that we have here. And that was a fairly kind of low size update, but we did in fact see a very long install time. So uh, likely a lot of things going on in the background which were being changed. So let's go ahead and check out what's new in beta seven. Uh, first, we'll go and check out our uh, about screen here to see the new uh, version number of what we're running here in beta seven. That will be 17A556 Five B is our new version number for iOS 13 beta seven. So we're nearing close to uh, kind of the final betas here as we get to the official version coming likely in uh, September time. And that is super exciting. What we also saw was a very interesting change here. Now on the last modem firmware update, we got a pretty big update to 2.00.01. And now in beta seven, we actually have a new software uh, or modem firmware here, uh, 2.00.01-2. So this might be kind of like a beta two of this modem firmware where Apple might be testing a new modem firmware for the iPhone XS Max here and likely just getting like a second version out for that modem firmware. So those are the two changes found within the about screen. Just a little bit more info about beta seven here. Now, if we go into the control center and then uh, go into this menu here where you can go ahead and uh, change your brightness settings and of course uh, your appearance on how dark mode is, uh, you can see that we actually have a very refined look here to the dark mode and light mode settings. So um, on the left here with beta six, it says appearance dark and then off and then until sunset. So it's just kind of showing us, hey, we don't have dark mode on and it will in fact turn on at sunset later tonight. Now on the right here, we're going back to kind of an older style um, as we were seeing in the first couple of betas there, uh, where we just see the status of, um, you know, our our um, kind of light and dark theme. We're not seeing that status as we see it on the left. We're actually just seeing dark mode off until sunset and then it will turn on, um, you know, at sunset. So uh, we're actually seeing a very different outlook here. Um, and you know, as far as the dark and light mode, I actually like the appearance here on the left. Um, hopefully Apple brings that back. Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below, but of course you still have the option to go ahead and change that appearance uh, via the new, um, the new uh, control center module here where you can change from light to dark mode. So that's really cool as well. Now let's check out another change um, that we, you can actually see on the home screen here. Uh, when we moved over to beta six, we saw these new folders here, uh, which didn't look that great. Um, you can see that it's very orange. It kind of mixes very well with the background, but if you have a background like um, the one here, it doesn't look that good for the folders. So we see Apple has reverted back to uh, kind of like this old style 
well here where we have a whitish black background no matter what the color is in the back and I actually really like that. Um, I hope Apple keeps uh, this folder design just because um, it works so well with all different kinds of backgrounds and this is a very good idea but if you have the wrong background the folders as you can see look quite quite bad. Now another change that we did see was actually found within the home app. So now if you go uh, within the home app you can go ahead and go to the wallpaper options and you can actually see that we have uh, the three old wallpapers that we had uh, back in iOS 12. Those are now returning back to iOS 13 beta 7. So now you have the option to select from uh, the six new wallpapers that Apple added um, like six or seven here. Um, yeah six wallpapers that Apple has added. You can see those here on uh, beta 6. Those were all of the new ones and then Apple added the three um, kind of older style wallpapers that we we're seeing in iOS 12 back into the home app here so you can have uh, a selection from those as well if you want those as your home app wallpapers. Now just going through iOS 13 developer beta 7 here um, there's really nothing new. We didn't find a lot of uh, you know new changes or um, even small UI changes here. The speed and performance is almost exactly the same here opening up all of these menus um, in the control center. Everything looks uh, fairly similar to what we were seeing there in beta 6 and uh, I personally believe that the performance is still just about the same. Now as far as new features and UI um, I don't expect to be seeing anything new uh, between now and the uh, kind of like official version that will be coming with the new iPhones. I expect to see a lot of new changes when we see the new iPhones but um, really nothing uh, within the betas here simply because we're just kind of wrapping up the betas and all the new features and um, all that jazz. But what I'm really looking forward to if you go into FaceTime um, shortcuts um, and uh, as well screen time we lost three very big features here. Uh, the communication uh, toggle or the communication menu within the screen time app that left us in beta 5. I really want that to come back. Um, if you go into FaceTime the uh, correction feature for the eyes is gone and that was a very important feature for iOS 13. A lot of people were raving about that feature. And here in the shortcuts app, there is no automation tab that was taken out in beta five as well. That definitely needs to uh, kind of have a return to the iOS 13 betas here. And that would be very nice to see all those features come back, uh, you know, bug free as Apple did take them out because there was just a few too many bugs uh, located within those new features. Now also found within uh, iOS 13 beta 7 we have uh, kind of new splash screens here. One is for the App Store uh, just explaining a little bit about Apple Arcade and app updates and how there's a new style to the app updates and we also saw a new splash screen for photos. Um, just a little bit more information as far as how photos are organized and what you can do with uh, photo and video editing there. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff coming to these two apps and Apple just wanted to kind of share with you guys exactly what is going on with these apps and what is new in these apps in iOS 13. So those are the two new splash screens that we saw within beta 7 here. Now we also saw within, uh, this is beta 6, this is beta 7, we also saw within the Find My app, uh, you can see that the on the left there is a lot of blue there on the right hand side uh, located next to all of the devices and on beta 7 here Apple actually changed that to gray. So just a very minor small UI change found within the Find My app but nevertheless a, a change that was found within beta 7 from beta 6. Now another change that we saw within beta 7 here, a very small change is uh, the Safari kind of uh, 3D touch menu here has reverted back to what we were seeing previously. Uh, so just a very small change here to the Safari tab. And then if you go into um, the kind of uh, 3D touch menu here and swipe along uh, the 3D touch menu, you don't actually have to lift your finger to go throughout all the menu options here. Um, so a very small change there, but something that I actually really, really like. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you um, just once again exactly how that works. Um, if we go and open up the 3D touch menu, you can go ahead and swipe along all of the menu options without lifting your finger. So if I want to go ahead and rearrange apps, I just end on that. And uh, you can just go ahead and select that um, from the 3D touch menu. So uh, just a very subtle change here found within uh, the home screen and uh, the 3D touch menu. But one that I think a lot of people will actually uh, come to um, like 
especially if they have an iPad Pro or iPad device. Now, another change that we did see is to the test flight app. So we have a new splash screen here for the test flight app. And uh, basically this is just a new screen sharing feedback. It just prompts you to go ahead and take a screenshot when you are testing everything out. And if you have a problem, just go ahead, screenshot it, and then you can upload that uh, to whatever app you are testing and that will show um, exactly what the problem is and just you know easily help the developers figure out what is wrong with their app. So just a new prompt here found within the test flight app when you go ahead and update to beta seven. So guys, that is what is new in iOS 13. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are of the new features and changes found within beta seven uh, versus what we are seeing in beta six. I really want to know your opinion. Uh, my opinion is is that yes, I was expecting very minor changes within beta seven and all of the changes that we found today, um, I think are very good steps to improvement towards a final version. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, but let's move on to speed and performance because that's a very important topic when it comes to iOS and certain performance with different devices. Now, as far as iOS 13 beta seven, the performance is almost exactly the same as what we were seeing in iOS 13 beta seven. Six. I mean exactly the same. The performance is still very, very high. Uh, a, about a, I think like eight to nine percent increase over iOS 12.4, the official version that is. So a very good, solid increase in performance still here, found within Beta 7. Uh, CPU performance is high. GPU performance is definitely on the rise continuously throughout these betas, and is still holding up very strong. And with that CPU and GPU performance upgrades we're actually seeing a lot of stability here. So going throughout beta six, uh, there were not a lot of UI glitches, crashes and everything like that. And with beta seven, I haven't noticed anything so far. So a very, very good performance rating here with beta seven. And hopefully that continues on into the next couple of betas. Now let's talk a little bit about battery life because that is also very, very important when it comes to you guys testing out betas and of course getting the official version, which should be coming here within the next month or so. So in regards to battery performance, battery performance since beta five, uh, you know, going on into beta six was really, really good and continuing on into beta seven, just like speed and performance, everything is going very, very well. Uh, I did a very short battery test here and everything was within the margin of error from what we we're seeing in beta six. So nothing really to worry about in regards to battery life. It's still on the rise and that is very good news for beta testers and of course people that will eventually be upgrading to the official version. Now, as far as any bugs found, I have been super lucky throughout the, the iOS 13 betas to not experience any bugs uh, or not many, uh, I would say, uh, but I was having a problem with the notes app crashing. Uh, that bug seems to be solved here with in beta seven. I know that's been kind of a long standing bug throughout the betas. So that seems to be fixed here within beta seven. And then I was getting quite a few crashes when I was using the phone app uh, on beta six. So far, I've made a couple of calls here, opened up the app, closed it and everything like that. And there doesn't seem to be a problem. So hopefully that is permanently fixed. But as far as any other bugs, I haven't noticed any. And uh, iOS 13 beta seven seems very solid as far as speed, performance, battery life, uh, the new features working quite well, and of course being bug free so that we're not having a glitchy and awful experience on the betas here. So guys, that was iOS 13 beta seven. We covered all of the new features and changes found within beta seven, talked a little bit about speed and performance, and of course battery life as well. And uh, that kind of leads me up to my final recommendation here. A lot of you guys in the comment section always ask, hey, should I be updating to the beta, the latest beta here, beta seven? Uh, my recommendation would be yes, go ahead and update. I have it on both of uh, my devices here. One is my daily driver. So I'm definitely using this on my daily driver and not having a bad experience whatsoever. So if you are looking to get some of the new features and see the performance gains over iOS 12.4, both on the CPU, GPU side, and as well the battery, I'd highly recommend updating to iOS 13 beta seven. If you want to wait till the public beta, that will likely be out today or 
early tomorrow about the same time as beta 7 came out today. Uh, if you want more information on how to sign up for the public beta program, a link will be in the video description down below. It's beta.apple.com. You can sign up for the iOS 13 betas and the tvOS betas, uh, macOS Catalina as well. So you can go ahead and test out the entire fleet of betas that Apple has out and kind of get it on all of your devices just to see what's new in all of these betas from Apple. So guys, again, that was iOS 13 beta 7. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, please leave those in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Now, if you want to stay up to date with iOS 13 beta 7, uh, kind of like all the updates and news in regards to this uh, version and as well future versions of iOS 13 betas, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video. Also, get subscribed as well and hit that notification bell button. That will give you guys updates as soon as any of our content comes out and you will not want to miss that content. So guys, again, thank you all for watching and hopefully you guys are enjoying the iOS 13 betas. Until next time, I hope you all have an awesome day. Peace.